Savage Chastity here um, at home chilling about to work on some stuff uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick post um, since vlogging is supposed to be about your everyday life and routines I figured you can't get any more real than after hours in a bonnet so just wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys what I'm working on currently uh, been home for a couple hours it's 8 30 um, I am about to start looking through some research for the area of Austell um, that Kingdom Has Come International Ministries um, will be expanding soon to God be the glory um, we are looking for land to build um, and more room to invite souls in so I am currently looking at some information on Austell just some demographics such as um, the type of people that are in the area um, some economic information all that type of good stuff that can benefit us and how and can help us uh, cater our ministry to who's in the area uh, so I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can get a quick look hold on a second all right guys this is my computer screen currently you see the city of Austell got a few things there that we're looking at some things that I think will be very beneficial for the project we're working on currently exciting things in store yay um, so now you guys see what I'm working on currently because it's always important to remember that when you're working for God you are always working there is always something to do you got to keep the ministry moving forward you got to do your part everyone has to do their part because the we are the church we keep the church moving we keep it going when everybody does a little nobody has to do a lot awesome uh, but um, while I have you guys here um, it's a good time to go over what we did in Bible study last night yeah I'm gonna hit it and quit it for you right quick last night we talked about being complacent taught by co-pastor Teresa Goggins just gonna give you guys um, three quick points and some scriptures and I'll let you be on your merry way um, number one Complacent people are unconcerned. You know those type of people that don't care about nothing. They just breezing through life nonchalant about every single thing in the house be on fire and they'll stroll out like it ain't nothing. Um, complacent people have no sense of urgency. Um, and how many of you know that anything concerning God's business should have a sense of urgency to it? And then finally, complacent people will defend their wrong the truth it's tight but it's right um some scriptures for you guys to go to from last night hebrews 6 4 through 5 proverbs 1 29 through 33 i think that is i can't read my own handwriting luke 16 7 through 9 and then luke 18 verses 9 through 12 uh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you guys tonight. Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful, blessed hump day because today is Wednesday. And um, I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Deuces.